Now, Sam, sometimes when I'm taking a leisurely bike ride on the lakefront, sometimes I see a cyclist and the chain is off. What we'd like to do today is teach our viewers why the chain falls off and how to put it back on. Sure, no problem. So, you know, almost always when your chain falls off, what's going on is you have these little screws. They limit how far your chain can move. Right, but the cyclist pretty much thinks that uh, he or she's doing something wrong. Sure, you know, it's, sometimes that can play a part, but almost always this is your real culprit and uh, you know that's what's gonna have to be addressed eventually so okay. you know chain comes off like so pull on the bottom of the chain to get yourself a little slack and then you want to you know just move the pedals slowly to get that loose and you want to put the chain directly on the teeth and just move the pedals forward slowly and you're good to go happy cyclist once again happy cyclist once again and like I said you just want to make sure that you know whatever it was that caused that you know whatever misadjustment caused it to fall off gets corrected so it doesn't happen again. And we should reassure our viewers that no matter what your cycling experience, with your, uh, whether you've been cycling for a long time or you're a beginner, this is going to happen. Yeah, it's, it's a totally normal part of cycling, you know, things coming out, out of adjustment. And it does not mean that there's anything wrong with the bike nope. if uh, you have a new bike and this comes off early. Yeah, no problem. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, Sam. You're very welcome. Okay.